In today's presentation, we'll be showing how to install wheel bearing races, wheel bearings, wheel bearing seal, and locking hub studs. The disassembly, cleaning, and inspection of the wheel hub was covered previously in video number one of this series. We'll begin by installing new bearing races in the hub. If you don't have the proper tool for driving in races, you can use the old races. This is done by reducing the outside diameter of the old race using a bench grinder or a sanding disc. Grind away enough material so that the old race fits inside the cavity of the hub and moves up and down freely. Make ready the new bearing and race. Don't mix and match bearings and races. Generally, bearings and races will last longer and work better if they're kept as a set. Additionally, unlike some other vehicles, the inboard and outboard bearings on a Samurai are the same size, so it doesn't matter whether they are installed on the inboard or outboard side of the hub. Place the hub on blocks of wood for protection with the wheel studs up. Place the new bearing race in the hub with the larger inside diameter oriented upward. Place the old race against the new race with the larger inside diameter oriented upward. Drive in the new race using a brass hammer. Be sure the new race is driven in squarely. Once the old race is flush with the top of the hub, continue driving the race using a spindle nut socket. Continue driving the race until it seats solidly in the bottom of the hub bore as shown. Flip the hub over and install the inboard bearing race using the same method as shown on the outboard bearing race. Ensure that it is seated properly as well. Next we'll install the wheel bearings. Before installing the bearings, they must be completely packed with a good quality high temperature bearing grease. This is done by putting a golf ball size of grease in the palm of your hand. Then hold the bearing as shown with the open side of the cage oriented downward. Then force grease into the other side of the cage by taking small continuous bites out of the blob. Continue until the grease is observed coming out of the top of the cage. Once grease is observed coming out of the top of the cage, Rotate the bearing and continue packing until the entire circumference of the cage is full of grease. Once the cage is full of grease, hang as much grease on the outside of the bearing as possible and place it in the inboard side of the hub. It's a good idea to add a little more grease to the bearing as shown. Next, we'll install the seal. Orient the seal such that this spring is oriented upward, away from the hub. We'll use the old bearing race to drive in the new seal. Place the seal against the old bearing race with the larger inside diameter against the seal. Place the seal squarely in the hub and drive it in by tapping gently with a brass hammer. Make sure the seal goes in evenly. Stop driving the seal when it becomes flush with the hub all the way around. Pack the outside bearing with grease the same way as shown on the inside bearing and place the bearing in the hub for safekeeping. The owner of this axle has requested that new heavy duty hub studs be installed in place of the OEM bolts. Install the studs with the long threaded end oriented toward the hub. Thread them all the way in and snug them using a pair of pliers. Install all the other studs in the same way. That concludes today's presentation. We hope these instructions have been helpful to you. If ever we can help you with any of your off-road needs, give us a call at 801-805-6644 or log on to www.lowrangeoffroad.com.